The new convert to optional chaining refactoring for JavaScript and TypeScript lets you convert repeated property accesses to an optional chain expression. Let's take a look at this in this TypeScript file. So here in the if conditional here, you can see that I have the value style, and then I'm accessing style.sheet and then style.sheet.rules. And we're doing it this way in case any of these values happen to be undefined or null so that we don't crash. Now, the downside is that each time we access one of these values, we have to repeat the previous part. So in this last one, we're having to repeat style.sheet to access the rules property here. This is a perfect use case for optional chaining. So if I wanted to convert this, all I have to do now is go and select the expression I'm interested in, bring up my code actions with the light bulb over here, and then say convert to optional chain expression. So I'll select this refactoring. And when I did this, you can see that VS Code has converted that expression, which was repeating a lot of stuff before, into a nice simple expression here, which doesn't repeat anything. Now it's using optional chaining. Now I could do the same for this one as well. So I'll just go in here, select that, and then say convert to optional chain expression. And I've successfully cleaned up my code quite a bit here. Now keep in mind that optional chaining was introduced with ES2020, so older runtimes may not support it. If you're working with TypeScript or Babel or Webpack or something, those can typically compile optional chaining down so that it will work on older runtimes. But that is something to just keep in mind before you go and convert everything in your JavaScript files. So that's the new convert to optional chaining refactoring for JavaScript and TypeScript.